hello. Look at my house. No, look at me. No, look at the house. Now back to me. Look at my house. My house is not me, but it's uh, sure starting to smell like me. This is kind of crazy. How long ago did they add the recipe book now? Like, it's been a few years, and I had no idea this was a thing. This is really tripping me out right now. Uh, so I was trying to craft some rails for the project that we have going on right now, and I couldn't do it. And I was so confused. I'm like, did they change the recipe? I tried to craft some powered rails. Still couldn't do it. I'm like, what is going on here? I have no idea why I can't uh, figure it out. I looked up the recipe. They didn't change it. Um, so what's going on? I guess you have to craft a minecart first before it unlocks the recipe. I had no idea. Even if you know the recipe, you can't just craft rails first. You have to craft a minecart first. What the heck? I had no idea that the recipe book blocked out certain crafting recipes. That is sort of insane. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I like that. <laughs> That's a super small detail. I, uh, I've been playing this game for years and I never knew that. Update number two. It's uh, starting to look pretty cool. I'm trying to go with uh, as many different shapes and textures and colors as I can get uh, here in this front section because this is going to be the first thing you see when you come up on the base. So um, I'm trying to make it look uh, somewhat presentable and it's uh, not too bad I kind of like it uh, it was a little uh, too um, there was a little bit too much of this light brown going on uh, so that's why I added these extrusions with the uh, the pine wood and the stone bricks here uh, with the little buttons um, and I think that helped uh, quite a bit. I uh, quite like that. I'm not super sure if I'm gonna keep it like that though, because uh, I keep looking at these buttons and I think they look like uh, the house has little nipples, <laughs> uh, which is uh, sort of weird, but I don't know. I think it's kind of funny, so I might keep it. Uh, the other thing I'm not too sure about is what type of glass I wanna use on the windows here. Uh, I think the light gray that I had earlier from the cow farm looks pretty cool. On the back side here I tried doing the same thing but with regular glass and uh, I don't know, I just feel like there's a little bit too much contrast between the, the light blue on the border and the white of the concrete. So I'm probably going to switch those ones out. This is what the interior looks like so far. I'm just kind of starting to frame out a few different rooms. Uh, this is probably not going to end up being the bedroom, just because it seems like it's sort of an awkward place to keep it. 
uh, but I will probably move it somewhere else on the same floor. Then over here uh, is going to be a tower that goes up to the second level. And this is where I'm going to build the enchantment setup later today. Uh, so that'll be um, probably the goal by the end of the episode. I think it'd be kind of cool to just keep building this house up taller and taller and taller with different rooms uh, as I get more resources. That's why I'm just trying to use mainly wood and stone for the first layer here so that it looks somewhat primitive. I think it'd be kind of cool if as the tower got taller it looked uh, more technologically advanced with each kind of phase of the game that I'm going through. Uh, so this first layer is just going to be the starter house. The second layer is going to be our enchantment setup. The third layer um, might be some sort of auto smelting room because I've been really in need of that. Uh, lately I've been uh, hurting for fuel pretty hardcore. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe the fourth layer could be like a potion setup. After that, I'm not really sure what I want to do, but uh, yeah, I think I want to keep going for uh, quite, quite a ways. Welcome back to the Manda Cracker. Welcome back to the Manda Cracker server. <laughs> oh man. I'm so dumb. Yeah, so this is what the tree farm's looking like. Uh, you can see that I have it stripped down uh, pretty much to its roots. No uh, pun intended there. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, looking kind of bare right now. But uh, bear with me because uh, I do have a plan for this. Uh, so I decided to bring the whole thing down uh, one block because I keep running into the ocean. You can see these little patches of cobblestone with water dripping out of it. Uh, that's uh, everywhere where I'm hitting where the water just keeps pouring down and ruining everything. Uh, blowing out all my torches. It's just no fun. Uh, so I'm uh, using this sandstone to kind of mark out where I want the real roof to be. And I brought the whole floor uh, down one layer so it's uh, actually going to be right here instead of right here uh, and then uh, I went down another layer so that I can start placing these rail tracks uh, because this is going to be the system that uh, loops back and forth with a hopper and a minecart all the way uh, under the mud um, which will give it the ability to uh, pick up anything that falls down below that I'm not able to get um, and then this will be a track once it hits the end it'll uh, loop right back here to the beginning so I'll probably just have some uh, hoppers running down this line and uh, it can input the items as it's uh, running down here and then I'll just probably like feed everything back to somewhere out here I feel like that'd be uh, the most convenient place to put it. Um, but yeah, I've just been doing so much digging. It has been um, kind of a nightmare to do it with unenchanted tools. I've been waiting to make my enchantment room to uh, enchant anything for the first time. But, I don't know. <laughs> um, I might have to take a break here and just go ahead and do that. Because uh, I don't even know if this is where I want the end to be. I think I uh, might want to take it even further. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to see if I can figure out something with uh, that real quick. And then I'll uh, come back to this. Uh, yeah, so this has been interesting. Uh, this is an ever-evolving project, <laughs> um, and I am telling you, I am 
not very good at redstone. <laughs> I am uh, just learning along with uh, with myself, I guess. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I did not think this would be too hard at first, um, and I realized that I actually don't have a whole lot of room that I'm working with here uh, without making the redstone just completely vertical. And I'm sure there's a way to do it better than I am, but I have spent like an hour and a half messing around with it, and I just cannot figure that out. <laughs> um, I had it like a block or two lower originally, and I was planning to hide uh, the redstone in this central s stem right here. Um, but it was kind of hard to do that without breaking out into the exterior. Uh, you can see this platform right here is what I originally planned for the floor to be, but uh, I don't even know if I like the way it looks, so uh, yeah, it's just kind of a temporary sort of thing right now. Um, but this is going to be the actual floor now, so... Uh, the plan is to put bookshelves all around these pistons here so that they stick up uh, just one block and the enchantment table can uh, get fed by them, ancient runes and whatnot. Um, and then when I don't need it, I can just retract it down below so that it is flush with the floor and that'll be pretty cool. The problem with that, though, is that it makes it so I can't use this uh, central area as my way up anymore, um, and I didn't really think about that. I think instead I might uh, extend this area out just a few blocks uh, and bring the staircase out this way um, so that I can maybe enter from this side of the room. I guess that would be like, like what, like right around here? Um, so that's an option, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm uh, gonna keep it like this. I thought I could work the redstone into the building but now I'm just trying to do the redstone first and then I'll make it look nice after that uh, because I think it would be probably too hard to uh, get something working the other way around. Uh, you can see that I just have a pretty simple uh, piston extender going on right here that uh, powers or unpowers this chain when the lever is flipped. Um, and then uh, all these pistons are inverted down below by redstone torches um, just because that makes things a little bit more compact Yeah, so it's uh, certainly not pretty, <laughs> uh, but it gets the job done. Uh, and like I said, I am really needing to get enchanted right now, so this is the moment. This is the moment where we get enchanted at last. Ooh, and I am so excited. Uh, so
so excited that I um, actually remembered to bring this stuff that I planned to craft. Um, and I don't really want to enchant any of the gear that I've been using because it's pretty much trashed. <laughs> I think it would be kind of a waste. So I made a couple new picks and um, actually it'd probably be nice to uh, enchant an axe as well to help me in the tree farm a little bit more. Mm, I think I'll do a set of armor later on, but I'm actually running pretty low on uh, iron right now, so I need to make sure that I uh, have the resources to do that. Oh man, <laughs> silly me. How long has it been since I played this game? I completely forgot that uh, lapis was needed for the enchantment setup. How could I? How could I even forget? Uh, it's been needed for like what, like <laughs> uh, eleven years now, twelve years now. Rookie mistake. Um. Hmm. I'm freaking. I don't like the sound of that. Um. Let's see, can I enchant a book with anything? Fortune three. Ooh, I do like the sound of that. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that. Ooh, silk touch. Okay, that's nice. Um, and then another unbreaking three. Okay, we'll go ahead and take the risk on that one. I need to get another few levels real quick. Um, but this is a really good silk touch pick. I'm excited to uh, have that so that I can uh, start getting some of the blocks that I... Uh, haven't been able to mine so far, and uh, it also makes it so I can save this glass, which I was kind of worried about. I don't know why. I just don't like wasting glass um, or any blocks really, but glass specifically seems like something that I never have enough of. So whenever I break it without silk touch, I'm just like, ah, yeah, yeah cringe internally. It's uh, not fun. I like uh, physically and am capable of doing it, so that's why Silk Touch is usually one of my uh, first in chance. I, I like to get it even before Fortune most of the time, but uh, um, we did get Fortune on this book, which is pretty cool, so even if the second pick just turns into straight and breaking, uh, we can still upgrade it to be exactly what we want it to be. This is so bad. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this farm design is horrible. I hate it. Look at him. Appreciating the beauty of it. This is honestly a really nice view. It sort of makes me want to keep the bedroom here, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how this cow got out here, by the way. Uh, I didn't force him out of here. He kind of just walked out on his own, and uh, he's welcome to come back in if he wants, but I don't think he's quite able to fit through the door. That's better. Oh man, so close. Really? I was messing around with my fishing rod, and uh, it's pretty cool. I uh, accidentally broke it, but I made something even better. I fashioned it into a good old pair of nunchucks. And it uh, 
it's pretty cool. It still works to catch fish and uh, it just feels more me, you know? I like it a lot. So, uh, yeah, now I can pull off some pretty crazy ninja moves. Not too bad. Come on, escalators, escalators, escalators. Eels. Oh man. It's okay. We can anvil it. Anyway, I think today has kind of reached a natural point of conclusion. There's not really anything more I wanted to talk about, and uh, I think all I really have to do right now is a whole bunch of busy work. I'm probably going to enchant a few more things, uh, but off camera, because uh, I don't think you really need to see a whole montage of me enchanting everything, but uh, if I get something kind of cool, I'll uh, come back and update. Uh, so yeah, until next time, I'm probably just gonna finish uh, some of the things I've been working on and then hopefully next time we can start something new.